Hello everyone, Adam Basua here. I am recording this video to help teach and give you the instructions on how to get your fan page started. Well, of course, I'm assuming that you already have your fan page built and it's maybe blank, there's no posts in there. And so basically what this video is gonna do, it's gonna show you just how to get the first 10 posts in so that you can start building a nice reputation so people can see your fan page and see that it's not empty, but that you're an active person and you're ready to help them and give them information that's gonna help their business. Now again, it's directed towards internet marketers, people that are making money online or have an online business or even have a brick and mortar, but they're using social media to do that. So for us, you know, we want to create and find articles out there on the internet that are going to be of interest to people that you know, we want to get into our, our multi-level marketing business or people that we want to recruit for whatever we're doing or just, you know, if, if we have affiliate offers or whatever. We just want people, we want to offer good product, good information so that people will see when they see our stuff come down their news feed, they won't just overlook it. They'll be like, oh, here comes Online Rhino. They always have a good article that really helps me, so I'm going to check it out. So let me just show you really quickly what I actually have right now. I've had my, my fan page for a while. I haven't really worked it recently to build likes, but the last two days I have, and I've doubled my likes. I had 40 some starting a couple days ago, now I have 80. So I'm, I'm starting to get more likes because I'm starting to push that, but up until now, I hadn't really done that. But let me show you at least what I have been doing, and that's putting articles and posting things into my, my page. Here's one, building customer loyalty, three tips to get customers to stay. Okay, here's another one, disagreeing without being disagreeable. So you can see this is more of a mindset one, but these are the kind of things that you want to put in here, things that are going to be of interest to people that are like us, that are entrepreneurs, that are trying to get themselves better in any way. Here's one, how to use visual content to drive more traffic. It's a very good article, and there's a picture of that, and kind of it's, it's, a, it's a nice picture because it's, it's eye-pleasing, and it gets curiosity going. So these are the kind of things you want to look for. There's really no big science towards it, like, oh, Adam, what video, what, what image should I use because I don't want to mess up? No, don't worry about that. If you mess up, you mess up. Just put whatever. Here's one that was just a funny thing I said. Only one in 15 can see the hourglass in this clock. Can you? You know, and I'm like, I don't see it. Do you? I mean, that has nothing to do with anything, but it's fun. And I do have my nice little um, URL in here. So if they actually were to see that, they could actually type it in and go look. But other than that, it's just something that's fun. So here's one. Here's one about Microsoft Internet Explorer going away. It's just, a, it's just an interesting article. It doesn't really help them, but it's interesting. So you can see what I'm saying here. Oh, here's a quote. Uh, just something that I put up there. So these are the kind of things that you want to put in on your blog, on your post, on your wall, things that are going to be of interest to entrepreneurs. So basically your first job is to go out and find articles. Okay, now I, I'll make another video on how I do that, but I already have a few here set up. So I'm just going to go up here and click on a few. I'm, I'm not sure if these are any ones that, that I have that I want to use, but yeah, maybe this is one. So here's one by, a blog, by Amy Porterfield's blog, how to use short video clips on Facebook. Now that's actually pretty cool. People can use short video clips on Facebook. So here's what I would do. So first, okay, I'm going to look in the article and I'm going to find an image that I like. Okay, now this is a good image. I don't have a problem using this image. I would like to find an image that I could put on the on the wall that stands out. Now that's not the greatest one, but it's it probably will work. So let me look around. Let me go down the post here and look. Here's another one, but that's something completely. That's just like an ad, so that's not going to work. So basically, I can use this. Now you have two options. You can either right click. And save the image, all right. And I usually do that, and then I just put it into a. I have an image file that a working image file that I use, um, and I just name it really quick, just so I know what it is. I mean, there's no science to this. You don't have to follow me exactly here. I'm just saving these things. Okay, that's one way. Now, if you don't find an image in here that works well for you, like none of the images look good, you always can go to the the website called fixabay.com. Free images for anybody. They're awesome. So basically, if I wanted to say the article is about Amy is about about uh, video clips on Facebook so maybe I'll just put video in here as a search tool and then I could find something here that that will work um, yeah look this one might this one might be fun um, it's a couple of little kids and it kind of stands out so I'll just use that I'll click that and then you can use the small the small size if you use a small size you don't have to create an account I have an account with Fixabay already so I can get any of these four but if you want to get the bigger sizes, they make you log in and create an account. But if you don't want to create an account, if you just choose a small one, it'll let you just download it. Okay, so once you got it, children playing, good, I'm going to hit save. Good, I'm good to go. So now I have two images. I can use this one or I can use the one I can use the one that I, that I got from the article. So now, okay, one other thing. So here I am with the article. So what I like to do is I like to usually take the first 
I don't know, line or two. And so this one here, if you've been following this blog or podcast for a while, you know, eh, I'm not going to use that. That sounds kind of, it's going to be weird if it's going to be on my, on my po on my wall with that, with that verbiage. Um, we all know uh, social media, Facebook in particular, remain a big part of how we drive traffic to websites. And okay. So maybe I'll just do that. I'll just copy that. We all know. And then I'm going to put, read more here about it. That's, 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 we'll find out later. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, you're trying to create your trust with potential and casualties in the past. You're always looking for your social media. Read the your thoughts and be aware of what's hanging on. Oh, maybe that's actually a better. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually use that instead. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. So now I'm going to go to my fan page. Okay. And I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put in the first post. And it's kind of long. Um, you know, so maybe I'll just put that right here. I'll just cut that out. I don't want it to be too long. I'll put down here and I'll, I'll double space down to, to have some space. Put read more here. And I'll put that little colon there. And what I'm going to do at that point is I'm going to go get the, the URL. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Now I don't want to put the URL like that in there. It's, it's too long. It, does, it's, it looks ugly. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Bitly account because I have Bitly. So I suggest you do the same thing. And then you can just put your, your URL in there, put it in there, and now it gives you the, a short copy of it you, or a short version of it. You copy that. Go back to your your your, your Facebook. Now paste your Bitly link in there and watch what happens. See, it actually puts the video, it puts the image in there with the link to the actual site, or the name of the site. You know, I am not a big fan of leaving this like that. So even though I may want to use this image, I don't like that it has the name of her site down here. I don't think Facebook likes to see that. So I, I, I'm a, I've am learned that when you use a Bitly link, it's a little more Facebook friendly. And so what I usually do is I'll just click, um, I'll either click upload image and maybe get the other image that I had. Let me see, where's my images here? Oh yeah, I put it on my desktop. So let me go to my desktop, working images. So if I have this one with the kids, I can put that in there. Okay, and the kids are in there now instead. And I mean, it still has this in here, unfortunately, even when you change that image. So that's one thing you can do. If you do, if you do decide that you don't mind using this part here, and you, but you want to change the image, that's what you can do. Now, if you want to get rid of this entirely, just hit the X and it goes away, all of it. But the, the link is still there. So then what you do, double space down, or actually, you, know, you, just, you just click on this little camera here to add photos, and you go back and you do the same thing. You add the photo you want right there. Okay. Now, I could have added anyone I wanted, but I, I chose to use the kids. So I'm going to leave it as that. Just let it go. But boom, I'm done. So you can see I have... Uh, this little clip of a sentence that kind of gets some idea of what the article is about, the link to get to it, and then an image. So I'm going to hit post. And boom, there it is. So now, if they want to see the image, if they want to see the article, they got to click on the link. If, if you were to left, have left the other one in there, I think I have an example. Let me see. Here, oh, here's one. I left the image here. This actually came from the site. I didn't change it. If I were to click on this, it actually takes me to the website. And I think that's what Facebook is not a big fan of. They want people to stay on Facebook. So in this case, look what happens when I click on the image here. It keeps me in Facebook and it only just goes to the image. But at this point, they still want to read the article. They just got to click on this and boom, there's the article. So it's it's something that I've discovered that I, you know, and, I, and I'll mix it up. I'll, I'll, some, I'll mostly do it like this, but once in a while I'll leave it like this because maybe I'm lazy or the image looks fine the way it is and I just don't want to deal with it. So I don't always necessarily say 100% of the time you have to do it like this, but I would do it the majority of the time like this. Okay. And here's another thing that I want to show you because you're going to want to, you're going to want to start, uh, once you have your 10 posts, so do that 10 times. And again, they don't all need to be interesting or newsworthy or I'm sorry, or instructional articles. They need to be quotes. They need to be Im funny images, a, a video that you saw on Facebook that everybody's sharing. That's funny. You know, just doesn't, just make sure you get 10 posts. That's all. But after you've got your 10 posts, now every single day, you're going to want to post anywhere from three to six times a day, okay? And you're going to want to, you're not going to want to post them all at one time. Like get up in the morning and post all, all the time. You want to be able to do, you know, you want to be able to do uh, one and then maybe three hours later or four hours later, you do another one, et cetera. So let me show you how to do that. But you can do them all at once. You can just time them. You can, you can set them to be posted later. So here's a good one. You can be legendary. I like this, okay? Uh, let's see. When did we give up the idea that we could be legendary? When we were kids or when life got hard? And why not you? This is a good opening right there. I'm going to use that. Okay? And 
So this is actually a podcast. So this is pretty cool. Um, so maybe I can do this. Yeah, let me see. Um, you know, actually, I like this too. Yeah, we'll copy all that right there. All right, now there's not really an image. I guess I can use this image. I don't know if I want to use that image, but I guess I could. Um, eh, yeah, let's just use it because Kenny's seems like he, well, it's, it's the podcast. Well, no, no, because the, 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 it's, it's about being legendary. So let me go to Pixabay and type in um, legendary. No, that's going to be interesting, but maybe we will. Oh, and, um, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's nothing really legendary about any of these things. Uh, let's see. How about just success? That's a, that's a good that's a good thing here that will probably, you know, success. Uh, legendary sports. Uh, you know, maybe I can just use a sports thing. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll use sports. Oh, wait, let's see. We got success. We got this. Oh, we got that here. That's legendary, I guess. Um, so you see, basically, I'm just looking up for something that has to do with being legendary. But you know, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the, the, the soccer just because that's I like sports, and so I mean, there's no other reason than I just like that image, and it does have to do with being legendary because soccer players, at least professional ones, can be legendary, right? So, all right. So, anyways, now I'm there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me go for it. Okay. Here's the article. All right. So I copied that. Let me go and this is a Facebook post. All right. Put all that in there. Now there's a lot of spaces in here. Take that out. Okay. All right. And I'll leave, and I'll leave it here. And I'll put watch this pod. Yeah. All right, learn more, maybe. Or not watch, listen. Listen to this podcast now to learn more. So then I got to go back to the site. So we can copy the link, right? Got to go to Bitly. Okay. Oops. There. Copy. And then put that there. Oh. Ooh, hey, look at that guy. That's a great image right there. You know what? I'm just going to leave that. That's what I'm... And unfortunately, though, if I leave that, I have to... It, this stays down here. You know what? That's a good reason why I do sometimes. Is look at that image. I could have... I don't even know where that image was. It wasn't on that page, that's for sure. But anyways, sometimes the the, the link here will capture images somewhere else on the page. So I'm just going to leave it there and, and go, from, go from there. So anyways, I'm done. So now I'm not going to post it. I'm going to hit this little drop down here to the right, and I'm going to click Schedule. And then, so today's the 27th, it's 9.42 in the morning. I just posted that one, so I'm going to wait for three hours, and I'm going to post the next one, PM, we put PM, and I'll just put 12, and then I'm going to put schedule, and then boom. So now it says you have one schedule post. So you can do as many as you want, so I can do four more for the rest of the day if I wanted to, but it's up to you how you do that, okay? So basically, that's it. That's how you populate your, your uh, Facebook page, so go ahead and get your 10 now as soon as you can, and then every single day... You want to do at least three, but possibly up to six. You know, every couple of hours, just do one in there and just do that for a couple of weeks. And before you know, you're going to have like 50 or so posts on there. So it's going to look like you are really working your Facebook and you really are. So it's not like it's fake. You're really being real. So just make sure you do that every single day. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks so much. We'll see you.